morning everyone and I just finished making my coffee I actually bought a new creamer which is from Starbucks I don't typically buy these large ones because it's just me that drinks them so I take forever to drink them but I saw that they had this hazelnut latte one almond and oat so it's dairy free perfect for me I bought it because my favorite drinks currently at Starbucks has been the blonde roast hazelnut latte it is so so good now if you want to try my drink i'm going to tell you what i get now i have two orders for my heavy coffee drinkers and then a regular order for my like regular human coffee drinkers so my normal one it would be just a blonde roast latte with almond milk and two pumps of the hazelnut syrup three i find is too sweet honestly you could even go down to one and then for my crazy coffee drinkers this is for days where i feel like i need like you know a little pickup I get a triple blonde roast latte. So that's, yes, that is that is three espresso shots in there. Um, we are a judgment-free zone. And then the same thing, two pumps of the hazelnut syrup. And I get always a tall. I feel like I never finish grandes. I even wish they had a smaller size in the tall because I never, ever finished a tall. But anyways, I will let you know how good the home syrup is because if that's the case, then I can just make it at home and just use my espresso pods. And if you're wondering why I am like very glowy today it's because i self-tanned <laughs> um i feel like i haven't self-tanned throughout pretty much the entirety of winter and i'm not really sure why i feel like i just had other priorities i felt really good in my skin i was really trying to take care of my eczema and i just didn't really feel the need for self-tan but i am now starting to show my legs a little more and it is date night tonight jack and i haven't been on a date night in forever so i figured i would put some self tan on and feel extra extra good today that's why i will take you along on our date night tonight anyways i'm very excited for today i made a great coffee because i have picked up my first spring pieces of the year i'm so excited i'm really tired of winter i think if i have any canadian followers on here you guys i feel for you because it's just been like non-stop winter i'm already seeing creators from like the uk wearing their dresses and that's just not the reality here it is um it's still winter and winter is being persistent it does not want to leave us so i am still wearing my good old cozy sweaters which i don't mind i love my sweaters but i'm very excited to be able to wear shorts and skirts and dresses and so with that being said let me go grab some of my newest pieces to show you I'm so excited Ooh -hoo. i also still haven't tried this it's still super super hot finally trying my coffee doesn't taste exactly like the starbucks syrup but it tastes pretty similar and you definitely don't need a lot which is good anyways let's get into this spring haul which i'm very excited about first piece is actually going to be not a new one but one that i have worn so much that i'm going to re-mention it because it is actually so stunning so this is my banana republic cashmere sweater it's got the big wide like billowy sleeves and a bit of a mock neck which looks so classic and timeless now the reason i'm re-bringing this one up because it is perfect for spring it's not quite that like winter neckline so it's not a turtleneck and the cashmere is going to be perfect as the weather warms up i just have been wearing this so much every time i put this on i feel so stunning and just classic and beautiful and i had to mention it again because it's stunning i love it second item is going to be also from banana republic and i have really been in love with banana republic ever since they've kind of zhuzhed up their approach to their stores and their fashion and actually this is an outfit that i wore when i worked with them but um these are a pair of brown trousers and i apologize they're a little bit wrinkly because i have been wearing them they look like this and the fabric is made out of a wool although they feel very very light and airy um, I truly couldn't recommend this enough. Now, these pants have something that I've never seen in trousers before, at least that I've purchased, but they have this like um, elastic band with a button that you can tighten and um, kind of tighten the waistband. Now, I think the last pair of pants I had that had this in them was like when I was seven or eight and they were from like the children's place. But um, I don't know, it's a really interesting 
feature. I've actually not tried it yet. Um, I will say I got a size 2 in these pants and they are a little bit looser. I'm someone that likes looser clothing though. I just don't want to be confined and I want to be able to eat and have my clothing still fit. So if you're going to get these, I would say definitely size down if you want your true size or if you're like me and you like your clothes fitting a little bit looser and comfier. Then just go with your true size. And for myself, I did not hem these because I wear these with heels. So with four inch heels, I'm five foot three. These do not need to be hemmed. But if I was intending to wear these with flat shoes, like flats or sneakers, then I would definitely need to take a couple inches off of them. But I love the whole pants to the floor situation. I know um, a lot of people don't. I do. I think it looks cool. I don't know. I like it. Anyways. Moving on. Here we have the cashmere sweater, which I love how classy it looks. I keep wearing this with very like wide-legged trousers, and it just looks really, really beautiful. Now, I will say for the trousers, they are quite long on me, so if I wasn't planning on wearing them with heels, I would definitely need to get them hemmed. Oh my god, these wrinkles are bothering me. Really, really in love with these pieces from Banana Republic. The pants are really, really lightweight too, so even though they're wool, they're not going to be super, super hot and gross as the weather warms up. But, yeah. The next dress is one that was actually an Instagram ad, and I saw it over and over and over again. And every time I would see this ad, I'd be like, wow, these dresses are stunning. Like, so unique, so beautiful, so unlike anything else really out there. I feel like they're the type of dresses that when you walk in the room, people are going to be like... And it doesn't matter if it's good or bad look, it doesn't matter, but people are going to turn their heads because it's so like, whoa. And I liked that. So I bit the bullet and I got one. So this is my newest spring dress. So this is actually from the brand called Sister Jane. And this is the Rusty Floral Organza dress in the color Carmen Red. And I did get an extra small because they are quite big dresses. Jack says I look like a little Russian doll in this dress. I, quite frankly, just think it's the most beautiful, like, girly dress ever. But it's got beautiful statement flowers all over it. The sleeves are humongous. And then you've got these gorgeous little crystal buttons. In the bodice there again humongous dress it doesn't even fit in the screen it's so big but it's just a showstopper and I love it I will say for my Canadian ladies on this website I noticed that when I checked out they didn't charge me taxes so when it came around to paying duties duties felt extremely high but that was because I was paying taxes and duties in one price so for this dress I paid hundred and fifty dollars in taxes and duties um, again seems like a lot but taxes were included in that price because the website didn't include our 13% tax that Canadians have to pay so just a little disclaimer if you are Canadian and you want to order this um, shipping was super quickly arrived in less than a week I think it arrived in like three or four days and yeah but taxes and duties were unfortunately Disappointing as usual. This is the Sister Jane dress. I absolutely love it. I've just paired it with my brown Banana Republic boots. If I wanted a handbag, I would go with my little brown Strathberry. Actually, let me go grab it. So this is the bag that I would do with this dress. I want something really minimal and something that's not going to add anything to the dress because the dress, well, speaks for itself. It's so big. And I just love how special it makes me feel. I absolutely love it. Oh. Next up, we have a few pieces from Karen Millen, which I'm so excited about. The first one I have actually yet to try on, and just by looking at it, I think it's going to be a bit big on me. But I have been wanting to dabble into some gray. So I picked up this kind of like asymmetric midi length skirt. Um, and this one here looks stunning. The pockets look very, very sleek. My only complaint with this, and again, I haven't tried this on, is that when you, is that you can kind of see the inside of the skirt. Now, again, I'm not sure what that's going to look like when I put it on. I just envisioned this with my black knee-high boots and a black turtleneck for those kind of like transitional days where it's still a bit chilly, not quite warm. So, yeah, that's the first one. And again, for Karen Mellon, I pretty much get everything in a size UK 8, which I believe 
is a US 4, I'm not sure, but UK 8, I think US 4. Double check the size chart, but yeah. Here's the gray skirt, and as I had guessed, it is way, way too big on me. I've got so much room in here, and I did order my usual size, but I feel like if it just sat like this, it would be so much better. It needs to sit up on my waist, but it just sags. Oh, it's too bad. I love all the finishes. I love the pockets. I love the asymmetric feel of the skirt. But it's just, it's too big. It needs to sit up here. It's definitely too big. Now, I have a couple events coming up um, in April that I'm very, very excited about. And so I wanted to start getting some really beautiful spring dresses that I could wear for various occasions and as soon as I saw this one I instantly fell in love and then when I saw that it came with some matching accessories I was like yes. The next thing is a little tweed midi length dress and it's this beautiful like white and brown tweed which I just fell in love with. I've been really into the brown and whites. I think I wore so much brown and white last summer. I just felt so beautiful in it. Such a classy color too. Um, and this one does come with a belt as well, which does look beautiful, I will say. But I think I'm going to personally swap this out for either my white Dior belt or my brown Burberry belt, just to make it look a little bit more high-end. But I just, I loved how classy this was. I can see myself wearing this with heels, with sandals. I think it's a really versatile dress that is very easy to dress up or down. Now... That dress also had a matching little blazer jacket. Now this is my first cropped blazer. I was quite against them at first, but I will say with the dress, it really makes it look very beautiful. And I was kind of thinking um, because I am perpetually cold. That's why in the summers, you'll very rarely see me wearing like t-shirts and tank tops. It's because whenever I go into a place, they have AC obviously and I freeze to death. So I'm always wearing sweaters and long sleeves that as soon as I get inside, I'm gonna be comfortable. So the moment I saw this, I was like, oh my God, it's perfect. It's a little cover up that I can take off when I'm outside and put on when I'm indoors or just leave it on. But I just love it. It's got three little buttons, a cute little pocket here. And yeah, I think it's beautiful. Now, there is matching trousers. Do you guys think I should get the matching trousers? please comment down below if I should get the matching trousers because I almost did and I've got the dress instead but I feel like on days that I'm not feeling like wearing a dress or skirt I can put the trousers on with a white bodysuit or a white t-shirt who am I kidding I never wear t-shirts but a white bodysuit or a white shirt and I don't know. What should I do? Should I get the pants? Let me know. This is the midi length Karen Millen tweed dress. I think it is so, so stunning. I also, as I put it on, realized it has pockets. How amazing is that? Love a dress with pockets. I paired this with my Burberry brown belt. It does come with its own belt, but I prefer always swapping out the belts for my own. And then I've just got my little brown Ralph Lauren heels. Oh, I just love it. I will say though, these straps do fall on me a little bit, so I think I'm just gonna have them taken up, but that way they just sit a little bit better. I think if you're a little bit taller, have a bit of a longer torso, this dress would fit a bit better. But again, I'm wearing a size UK 8, and it fits really comfortably around the bodice. It is just stunning. I feel like for a wedding or brunch or a birthday or garden party, I feel like there's so many good uses. But now let me show you the little matching jacket. And that's the matching jacket. For me that I'm perpetually cold in the summer, this is perfect because I can have a little bit of a cover up when it gets chilly either in the evening or indoors and I just love it. I feel like I should really be purchasing the matching trousers or I'm gonna regret it. But yeah, I really like it. It just also hits at the perfect length. I will say the sleeves are a little bit long on me, nothing horrible, but I do like them rolled up a little bit. Anyways, that's the little matching set. Like I said, as soon as I saw the matching set, I knew I had to get it. So, so beautiful. Hmm? What do you guys think? Hmm, I love it. And last but not least, I feel like it is not spring without a proper coat, rather trench coat. So this is just 
a classic brown trench coat. This one actually has um, like a dark brown, almost black leather detailing around it. Again, I've been into the browns, um, definitely. I'm wearing a lot of brown right now. But as soon as I saw this, I just envisioned this with a very simple black outfit underneath, black trousers, black turtleneck, black bodysuit, and the coat is the outfit, honestly, in this situation. So I have yet to try this on, so I'm very excited to try this on and show you guys what that's gonna look like. I'm very excited. I think it's so beautiful. Look at that. How stunning is that? And then the back, I just noticed this, has this like gorgeous kind of crossover detailing. You've got this here as well. Yeah, it's really, really, I have to say, the quality on this particular item is absolutely stunning. I'm really, really, really happy with it. That's stunning. I love it. And this is the trench coat all done up. Now, I will say, um, as much as I am wearing a UK 8, there is not a lot of room up here. So if you're planning on wearing thicker knitted sweaters um, and kind of really layering under here, then I would probably recommend sizing up because there's already, as you can see, a smidgen of tugging around the boob area. I guess it's maybe meant for girls with smaller boobs. Um, but aside from that, it is beautiful. And of course, I do often struggle with the amount of fabric on these belts because I do have a really tiny waist, but that's okay. I mean, it still looks beautiful. You can just kind of fashionably tuck it in, but it does fit beautifully on the body. The fit of this trench coat reminds me of the Chelsea Burberry trench coat, which is a bit more form-fitting, that more like traditional feminine fit, as opposed to the Kensington, which is the one that I have, which is a more straight, boxier fit. It truly, truly looks so, so beautiful. Oh, I think I'm gonna wear this because I'm about to go out for a walk with Jack, so I'm gonna show you how I would style it up a little bit more casually. And I totally, totally forgot to show you guys this one when I was sitting down, but this is a little strapless jumpsuit, also from Karen Millen, and I'm just wearing it with my black Louboutins and a little Dior belt. Now, I am someone who does not shy away from wearing black all year round. I think it's smart, classic, timeless, um, and I think having classic black pieces in your wardrobe all year round is essential. And so when I saw this one, I just thought it was perfect for spring with a more open neckline. You could really play around with some fun accessories. Um, me being me, I'm gonna keep it classy with my little diamond necklaces from Missouri. I will definitely have to get these hemmed a little bit because even with my tallest heels, they do droop just a little bit too much. Now I do love a very to the floor hem, but these are almost too much. Like I don't wanna be tripping on my pants. But yeah, oh, look at that. It's so beautiful. It's a very beautiful hemline. Um, and it does come with straps that you can add on if you don't want a strapless look. I know that sometimes it's a bit annoying when you have boobs to constantly be tugging up. I love it. What do you guys think? I'm so sad I didn't show you guys this one sitting down, but yeah. And again, I got a size UK 8 in this one. Like everything else at Karen Millen. Jack and I are um, gonna go for a little bit of a walk. He has to go get a haircut before tonight. And I'm gonna go and try and find some bobby pins because the hairstyle that I want to do tonight requires me to have some bobby pins just to pin some of my hair back. So I'm gonna go out and join him for a little bit of a walk. But I wanna wear my new trench coat from Karen Millen. So let's figure out what I'm gonna wear. I think it's like, quite chilly still today. I don't think it's that warm. Yeah, it's two degrees, sunny, but two degrees, meaning it is gonna be quite chilly. So I think I'm going to wear my cashmere turtleneck. I believe this is the one from Lily Silk. Now I have tried various different um, brands for cashmere and I will say Lily Silk is still my number one. I have a couple pieces from Karen Millen which are lovely, they are, but I feel like the cashmere didn't hold up as nicely as my Lily Silk. Like if I told you that I have worn this hundreds of times, you wouldn't believe me because it's still in such beautiful condition. Cashmere is a natural fabric, so it is going to pill. Anything that's a natural fabric is going to pill, but this one has hardly pilled. It's quite impressive to be honest. It looks amazing, which is why I constantly reach for it because it looks brand new, but anyways. <laughs> renting. Lily Silk for cashmere. It's definitely my go-to. So I think I'm going to wear this with trousers. Black trousers are going to be boring. Just not sure which ones. 
Okay, I have two options. I could do my Jacquemus trousers, which never disappoint. Or I could do, I think these ones are from Aritzia. Babaton? Yeah, oh my god, these are so old. But these are a bit of a longer length. Um, I can wear them with sneakers because I did have them hemmed to be worn with sneakers. So maybe I'll just try both. These are a little bit snugger though on me. I'm not sure if I feel like being wearing anything tight right now. So anyways, I'm gonna try both and see what they look like on with the trench coat. And I'm definitely gonna wear sneakers because I want to be comfy. I don't really feel like wearing um, heeled boots or anything right now. So let's try that on. Thinking back at all my purchases, I think these Jacquemus trousers were probably the most expensive pants I own. I think they were like six, seven hundred dollars, but they are the best quality, the best fitting, and the most worn trousers that I have because they're just, oh my god, like they just hug you in all the right places. I know that when they launched these, they had them in white, and I so regret not buying them because oh, no other trousers look and feel like these do. Um, I really do like these, so I hope they look good with a trench coat, but I'm going to add my brown belt because I feel like this brown belt looks good with the trench coat. I hope these look better than the Aritzia ones because I would rather wear these than the Aritzia ones, but let's see. I'll be right back. I'm going to grab my sneakers. Honestly, when I don't know what to wear, this is the outfit that I wear. Black cashmere turtleneck, black, comfortable, well-fitting trousers, and I feel like I look like a million bucks. <laughs> now, when I tried this on to show you, I hadn't tried it on with a proper sweater underneath, so I'm interested to see what it looks like on. Oh, I think I like this. This is the trench coat with the Jacquemus trousers, and I've got my Axelar regattas on. I might try my Chanel sneakers. I know those look a bit more daintier, but what do you guys think? Looking at myself in the mirror here, and I would definitely wear this with my Lady Dior. I think that looks really pretty. I'm not sure. You know what? I think I'm gonna try my Chanel sneakers. Let me go grab them. And these are the Chanel sneakers. Oh my god, I can't even see if you can see my sneakers, but it's amazing how a daintier shoe makes the world of a difference. I think these are the ones. Even Jack complimented my outfit, but yeah, okay, <laughs> I think this is the outfit. Anyways, I'm not even going to try the other trousers because I really don't feel like wearing them. And I think this looks, I think this looks cute. Before we go, I have to leave in eight minutes. Um, I'm just going to touch up my makeup because it's feeling not the greatest at the moment. doesn't matter, I'm going to take it off anyways tonight before the event. Go in with a little bit of powder. Feeling a little too greasy right now. And I'm just gonna go in with a little bit more of my Clay de Poe Luminizing Palette. A little bit of highlight on my nose because it's like my favorite thing to do. And of course, totally glitzer. Can you believe I like just started this bottle like a few weeks ago, not even. All right, now I'm gonna touch up my hair. I feel like everybody's question is gonna be, how's the Dyson, do you like it? And I have to say, I do. I think it's uh, really hard for people to sometimes admit that Sometimes expensive things can be good, and this one is good. And I, I think one of the things that a lot of people struggle with is it is the curls not lasting on their hair. But this is day three curls, and I think they look absolutely stunning. I think they hold, for me, on my hair just as much as my curling iron. If anything, I think it, they stay looking prettier, and they have to be touched up less than my curling iron. Um, but again, it's all about hair type. My mom and I have hair types that just hold any sort of styling really, really, really well. Like even my mom uses my <laughs> Dyson Airwrap on dry hair and the curls hold. Um, that's just our hair. So it's unfortunate, but it is the type of thing that try it out on your hair type, try different products, try it wet, try it damp, try it on dry hair and see how that works for you. And sometimes products just don't work on everybody and that's 
not just with the Dyson, that's with makeup, skincare, literally everything, clothing, you name it. So yes, but I think my review on it is that it's an awesome tool. I love how it makes my hair look, whether it's curled, blow dried, it's, it's awesome. I'm already thinking ahead of some trips I have planned in the summer and that I am not going to be able to take this bad boy with me because won't be in Canada so I actually had someone comment uh, or not comment but DM me that they had bought a second Dyson Airwrap for traveling in Europe because they love theirs so much and I totally respect it this was like when I first got it and I was like wow that's like dedication and now I'm like I get it but anyways I'm gonna touch up my hair I'm just gonna touch up these front pieces because they're the ones that I unfortunately touch the most and they need some TLC so that's what I'm gonna do I will say I cannot escape having to use my flat iron though on my little front bits. Now, just finishing touches, I'm gonna use my little Dior lip gloss on my lips. And then, it's 327. Yeah, I'm gonna be ready on time. Look at that. Oh my god. Okay. Jack's gonna be so proud of me. I'm ready on time for once in my life. And then it's again, shade 012. So good. Oh, and fragrance. I'm gonna use Low Papier. Can you believe I've only had this for like a week and that's how much I've used. It's so good. Mm. Now I understand why they made this in an eau de toilette instead of an eau de parfum and the difference is just the oil content so eau de parfums last longer because they have more oil content eau de toilettes are gonna last not as long on the skin because there's less of that oil content and the oil is what has the fragrance in it i get why they chose to do that but i wish that they would have done an eau de parfum because i love the fragrance and i wish it would last so much longer on me that's why like i'm like bathing myself in it but can't have it all, can you? Anyways, I'm gonna put my jacket on. We can head out. I do need to stop at the grocery store as well um, to pick up some snacks for the house here before we head out for our dinner tonight. So, yeah, anyways, okay, let's go. So I just dropped off Jack at his haircut and of course, my luck being on time for once in my life, my period decides to like overflow and I had to change my underwear and thankfully on my pants but uh, life of a woman right so anyways we were like five minutes late running out of the house but uh, Jack is heading to this point now I'm gonna get some groceries and stuff and then head back home it's also like the most beautiful day so I'm enjoying my walk Yeah, just got back from going out and I'm gonna show you what I got. So I went to H Mart, which is like a little Asian grocery store, and I got these little chips for Jack because they didn't have the ones that he got last time. Not sure what they are. I think they say looks like kimchi ramen. Oh my god, my battery's in that. Should charge before we go. Got some soft tofu ramen. These are my favorite dumplings because they cook in three minutes. I love pork dumplings, but I like to get the pre-cooked ones because I'm always afraid of like undercooking pork and that's not good. And then I got some kimchi and then some bobby pins, which is what I initially went out for. So anyways, I'm gonna shower, take my makeup off and then start getting ready for the evening because I have an hour, just under an hour. I have an hour to get ready. Should be good. I am in the bathroom now and I was just gonna hop in the shower to wash my face because I wanted to have a fresh face of makeup for tonight. And I thought I would show you my little cleansing combination, which I have been using, I don't even know for how long now, but I feel like I've nailed it. And this is the first time in my life that I have consistently used and look forward to using an oil cleanser. 
I'm gonna show you it. So this is the, you can tell I'm like literally almost out, oh my God. <laughs> but this is the Caudalie Vino Clean um, or Vino Clean Makeup Removing Cleansing Oil. It's made with castor and sweet almond oils, which is my favorite part about this. Every time I put this on, I like, I massage it into my face. It smells so lovely. In fact, the first time I ever went and got a facial at Caudalie, I, I'm not a talker during like whenever I get massages, um, facials, I'm not a talker, okay? I like sit there in silent. I'm a silent person. But I remember speaking up and asking, I'm like, oh, like, excuse me, sorry, but like, could I ask what you just put on my face? And she goes, oh, it's the cleansing oil. Um, and I was like, oh, okay, great. Can you just show it to me at the end? Because I'm very visual, right? Right here. So good. And then, of course, this is not the first time you've heard me talking about this, but this is the Dermalogica Special Cleansing Gel. This has lasted me forever. I'm still on this bottle. You literally only need like a pea size amount and it lathers beautifully. So these two together are absolutely amazing. And then of course my Dermalogica cleanser is the original one. And then I have my milk foliant, which is in like the blue bottle. It's actually packed away from when I was in Cambridge with my family. But um, I love using those every day, every other day, depending on how my skin is feeling. Right now I feel like it's not too too bad so I'm not gonna exfoliate um, I'm just gonna use these two for a fresh clean slate and then I'm gonna do a mask I think before I do my makeup so yeah. I just thought I'd show you that because I've never shown you these but this is truly amazing if you're someone who wears SPF you have to use oil cleanser SPF can break you out it's really not good for your skin besides well it's amazing for your skin but it's not good when you don't take it off before bed so um, using something like this is really great I will say I did like the Dermalogica one for a while until I tried this one and then I prefer this one over the Dermalogica one. This one feels smoother on the skin. I prefer the smell. My Dermalogica one is is there. It's in my shower. I use it every so often, but this is the one that I reach for over anything else. I also recently got sent this MAC one. This is their Hyper Real Fresh Canvas and I will say this didn't really take off my makeup. Um, it just, yeah, I don't know. It felt kind of like water. It's also like as you can see, kind of liquidy. Um, I only tried this, I think, two or three times and just didn't compare. So if you're looking for an oil cleanser, I would recommend Caudalie first and then Dermalogica second. This one, not a fan of. I'm gonna hop in the shower now. I apologize for the lighting, but I'm just doing my makeup and I'm happy to say that because I self-tanned, I was able to use my Chanel skin tint again because actually, in my shade this has been sold out for like months and months and months so i wasn't able to buy a lighter shade but i got a new concealer which was pricey but i want to try it because it has amazing reviews and it actually comes with a little brush which is the cutest little thing ever look at that how tiny that is let's try it out so this is the radiance generating concealing eye care apparently it has a serum in it so i got the shade 30 so let's try it out i'm very excited nervous though because i hope i like it oh my god it's really liquidy like, that's a lot of product on there so i'm actually going to start there i'm going to pick up a tiny amount and start oh wow that is full coverage this brush is phenomenal i will say that so far, I'm really liking that. Wow. Okay, I'm gonna give you another angle. Look at how natural that looks. Wow, I should really like that. Okay, I'm impressed. I'm gonna do the other eye now. I'm gonna do the rest of my makeup and then start fixing up my hair. Makeup is done. I feel like you can barely see it. There we go. Makeup is done. Um, 10 out of 10 on this concealer. Uh, breaks my heart that it's so expensive, but it looks amazing. Just to quickly do my hair, my vision, is to kind of pin it back on the sides and then just have it hang to the back because there's so much going on with the dress i really don't want any hair 
in front. I kind of just want it like this. So I'm gonna pin it back. So let's let's try that. I'm really happy with my outfit. We just ordered our Uber. It's gonna be here in two minutes. I think I'm just gonna wear my big Michael Kors coat because it's the biggest coat I have and I don't really want to squish down the dress. Also, a moment for this lip gloss. Yes, this is the gloss. This is the Dior um, Lip Maximizer. I'll tell you the shade in the Uber. Um, but it's so beautiful and glossy. It's like the best of both worlds. Anyways, we really gotta go, so I'm gonna go. We just arrived, but we can't really find the entrance to the building, so it says it's on Ossington, but we're gonna try and go around. and there is no mirror in here or even to fix up my lips so let's see I'm gonna put you here right. let's fix this hair bobby pin is falling out the drinks are really really good we had two drinks each made with whiskey obviously i had a highball and jack was drinking in old fashioned which i don't mind old fashions but i don't love old fashions so And then I told you I was going to tell you my lipstick, but this is the shade 0 to 8. So I'm going to use this first. And then, like this. I also had the sweetest um, lady come up to me and ask me um, where my dress was. And I was like, scream across the table. I'm like, sister. Jane, because that's where the brand is of the dress, but yeah. Hair looking good. Ready to go back. Let's go. Dad was taking photos of me and he's like, yeah, I don't have to look at you when I take photos. I just try to make sure you're in the frame. Good work. Oh my god, I need a new camera. There we go. An IPA would go so good. I don't like IPAs. Jack's trying to get me to go to a brewery and I'm trying to get us to go to a wine bar. It's a wine bar, right? I, I feel like I'm gonna pop a button. <laughs> Look at the state of this button. This is a three course meal and I don't know how many whiskeys. <laughs> We actually thankfully got seated beside some wonderful, wonderful people whom after several glasses of whiskey got very chatty. Me included, that is very me. I get very chatty after a little bit of alcohol. Um, but we are just gonna grab some more drinks and then head home because this event was actually right by our favorite wine strip and wine bar. So that's where we're gonna go. Cote de Boeuf is right here. Look at it. You could just walk by it and miss it. Oh, is it looks closed. Okay. Okay.